Girl again, I'm just going to give you an update on everything. Here I wanted to show you that uh, we got the first one here all tilled, raked out, and we transferred some of the dirt over. Put it here in the new one that we just showed you. These here I got from my neighbor across the street. She was recycling some of her planters. I decided to go ahead and ask her if I can take them before the recycling men came. She said sure, and she gave them to me, so got to meet a neighbor. I wanted to show you that I uh, went to ACO and got a whole bunch more cans now. I have all of them lining up the back of the uh, porch here. So this is awesome when all of it rains. You can see the storm clouds coming in. I want to get this done before it starts raining really bad today. Um, and get that done. Now I wanted to show you here that uh, I weeded, got all the morning glories out and uh, all the dandelions. Um, raspberries are coming in, onions are getting huge. I want to show you that uh, some of the strawberries are coming in right now. Um, they're starting to flower, which is really, really awesome. Get up close here so you can see some of the strawberries. Just beautiful. And these are so good. I wanted to thank uh, Andrew and Dan's mom for giving that to me. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, got that area cl cleared out. Uh, did get grape plants, um, three of them, so I put them on each of the corners there um, so I can get some more grapes growing in. It takes a couple of years before you get your uh, grapes, but I wanted to show you the blueberries. They're actually coming in really well. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. So I did get two more blueberry plants right there and right there. So I'll have six of them all together and start growing in blueberries. So now I wanted to show you over here. I did get two extra uh, cans. So this is what I'm going to start my composting in. Um, you can do it with a composter if you want, whatever you want to do. But this is what I'm going to start with. And what I'm going to show you here. Sorry about this. Um, empty can. Uh, what I'm going to start with, I did show, take a couple pictures um, earlier. Uh, what I got here. Smatter. So what I'm going to start with here is my newspaper. You can see it's nice and dry. The kids just helped me tear it all up. Put that all in there. There are a couple little tortilla chips that my daughter was eating. So we got that in there. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is take some already um, composted soil from last season. Like that. Dump that on top. Because as you can see, this is one of my LD's coffee cans. It's handy, useful. Okay, here. These are some twigs, some stick. Um, grass clippings. I'm going to add that on top. As you can see it in there. Oh, sun's peeking out. A good thing. I'm gonna keep that all in there. Here we have some more. These are some twigs. It's gonna help aerate as I turn. And here are all the morning glories and dandelions that I picked. So I wanted some fresh greens in here. So that's gonna be in our compost as well. Now, here comes the good stuff. Got my eggshells. That right there is a pizza crust. I got some paper. Got my coffee grounds that I'm starting to put in. All right, here. Um, because I'm not doing worm compost, it's fine if you go ahead and put your citrus seal in. I've got the grapefruit. I've got orange. As you can see here, also I have the lime. I have celery. I have cucumber. And I just show you the apple as well. Apples in there. Just gonna go ahead and add that in. And here is all the smatter from my juicer that I took a picture and showed you. It's my green spinach, my reds, my apple, my carrot, it's the oranges, orange colors. Now see here you can see some of the celery that's still in there. Also as well. There is cucumber. 
And as you can see, cucumber, the ginger is in here. Um, this is all going to make a wonderful, wonderful compost. Um, what I do recommend is no meat products. You're going to get animals coming in to get to your compost. Um, so, since I'm just starting this, I'm going to let you know that um, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for about a week. You know, when I come back um, and add more food um, or grass clippings or whatever I want, um, what I'm going to do is take it with one of the um, turners I have. I'm going to stir um, and it'll start breaking down really well. Um, I'm going to take this and put this in my, um, my garden. Really, really awesome thing. Like I said, be green, reduce. Use whatever you can. Um, get your plants going. Okay, I'm going to give you another shot of strawberries and here's some of the grapevine. It's coming out and it's also starting to bud. It's starting to flower. So I'm going to show you that as well. Now, when you're doing grapes, of course, they're supposed to be upstanding, but I just want to let you know that they trunk. And what I mean by trunking is they get really big. You can see down there. Um, that was just a twig when I first planted it. Now it's starting to trunk, so I know this is all going to come in very well. Now those Asian beetles, they look like huge ladybugs. You want to look out for those. You ever see those in your grapes, you want to get rid of them. Um, so here we go. Here's garden update. Mm, strawberries, everything. I haven't had anything in there planted yet. I might take some of that uh, peat moss that's in there. I might add it into my compost there to help enrich and break down um, all the food and everything. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the lettuce getting big. Everything over there. I have the kids pick me some Mother's Day flowers. We're going to stick that all into the compost as well. Um, so, here's my update. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.